Anna, and I'm so excited for today's video. Pesto is probably my favorite thing in the whole world. My boyfriend Max and I have made fresh pesto on pasta every Sunday for years now, and it was also one of the first things I learned when I went vegan. Today I'm going to show you three different pesto recipes, a classic pesto, a parsley miso pesto, and an olive pesto. So I hope you like them. Okay, so for this first pesto, first you're gonna add a handful of fresh basil, a handful of arugula, and then a bunch of kale. Then you're gonna add a half of a cup of walnuts or whatever other kind of nuts you like, a half cup of nutritional yeast, juice from half of a lemon, about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, two large garlic cloves, and then some salt and pepper to taste. And you're gonna add your pasta to the boiling water. And then take about three quarters of a cup to a cup of the pasta water and add that to the Nutribullet or blender. And then you just blend it up and there's your sauce. The kale really makes it a lot greener, so just keep in mind if you're not going to use kale, it'll probably not be quite as green. So just add your pesto to the pan. And then add your pasta and it's as simple as that. We make this pesto every single Sunday and it's delicious every time. You can also add whatever other veggies you want or just have it on its own. Okay, for this next pesto, you're gonna again use a handful of basil. and a handful of arugula. And half of a lemon. And for this one, I used almonds, but again, you can use whatever nut you like. I used a quarter cup. And then again, some olive oil. If you wanna use less olive oil, just make sure to use more pasta water. So then you're gonna use a quarter of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, a quarter of a cup olives, and then salt and pepper to taste. Blend that up. And then I use some tricolor pasta for this one. And just like the last one, make sure to add some pasta water in there to loosen the sauce up a little bit. And I ended up adding some kale, like I said, just for a more green color. It won't change the flavor all that much if you're not using much. And for this recipe, I decided to cook up some tomatoes to put in it. But again, you can use any vegetables you want or just have it on its own. So once those are done, just add your pesto to the pan. 
and then add your pasta back in. This made a lot of sauce, probably enough for a pound of pasta, but I just used a half of a pound, so that's why it looks so saucy. Okay, and for this last recipe, I decided to use some whole wheat penne. So you're gonna add a big handful of parsley, a smaller handful of fresh basil, and then a big tablespoon of white miso paste, and a tablespoon of olive oil, and then whatever nuts you want, and another clove or two of garlic, depending on how much garlic you like, and then juice from half a lemon. Salt and pepper to taste. And some pasta water. So a lot of these pestos obviously use the same ingredients, just mixing up a few of them to kind of spice it up a little bit. I added some nutritional yeast. And again, just mix it all together. If you're a parsley fan, you will definitely love this one. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try one of these pestos out soon. The recipes are linked in the description box below and you can find more at pvpasta.com or at plant-based pasta party on Instagram. Please subscribe for more pasta videos and I will see you soon.